Hello everyone, welcome back to my organic chemistry mini lecture. Today our topic will be the Michael reaction and the Robinson annulation. First, uh, the Michael reaction is the reaction between enolate and alpha beta unsaturated uh, carbonyl compounds. And uh, you can see the example I shown here. This is a uh, malonic ester. Uh, this can form a enolate because this alpha proton here can be depronated by base. And this is the a alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde. And this can be ketone, um, but it should be uh, a alpha beta unsaturated a double bond here. And uh, the base is the uh, methoxide, and that is the same as uh, this esters uh, methoxy group. And in the solvent, methanol, you can make a new carbon-carbon bond in the product. So this is the micro-reaction. And usually, we call this reactant forming the enolate uh, as a micro-donor. And this alpha-beta unsaturated carbonyl compound called a micro-acceptor. So donor, acceptor, nucleophile, electrophile. Uh, look, let's look at the arrow pushing mechanism. The first step is the alpha proton of this micro donor, the melanic ester, be depronated by the base, the methoxide. Deprotonation, push the sigma electron back to here, form the pi bond, and then push the pi bond between the carbon oxygen to the oxygen, form the negative charge. So deprotonation from this enolate moiety. You can see this part is the en uh, enolate. Enolate is the nucleophile. This can react with the microacceptor, the alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound here. This is aldehyde. Push the electron from this oxygen, form the pi bond, and push this pi electron to attack this beta carbon. So this beta carbon is the electrophilic and then push the pi electron to here to form the double bond here, and then push the carbonyl pi bond to the oxygen. Now, this is a nucleophilic addition, and you can also call it one full addition here to this alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl. You can also call this a conjugated addition. And then you form this carbon-carbon bond as a new, form, new bond here, and you can see you can also form an enolate here. And next step is just the protonation of this enolate. So this electron push back, push this pi electron, attack this proton, take the proton, and then uh, push the sigma electron back to oxygen to reform the methoxide as the base. So the, this base is actually the catalyst. And so protonation will give you this final neutral product with the new formed common common bond here. So this is a very typical micro reaction. And this is the uh, melonic ester. Uh, basically, this is ester. This can also be uh, other kind of like a carbonyl compound like a ketone. And uh, this microacceptor can also be ketone or other uh, reactant like nitro group here. So we'll look at that example uh, next slides. This is the, a ketone cyclohexanol uh, as the micro donor. Uh, it can form enolate. And this is the microacceptor, not very, not very typical microacceptor or not very classic uh, uh, microacceptor. Uh, there's a nitro group here. And, but this is, you can see, it's similar with alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl. Uh, the base used, you can use amine as a base. The product also will form new carbon carbon bond here. Mechanism, first step, similar with the other uh, reaction, the alpha proton of this ketone will be depronated by the base. This is the, a secondary amine. And then this can take the proton, push the sigma electron to form this pi bond, and push that pi bond to the oxygen. Very similar reaction. 
and deprotonation will form this enolate. That's a nucleophile. And then this is the electrophile, the microacceptor. So the nucleophile, the oxygen will push the electron back, form the pi bond, push this pi bond's electron to attack this beta carbon. And then you form a negative charge over this carbon. So that's basically the conjugate addition or nucleophilic addition to form this carbon anion as intermediate. Since this natural group is a strongly electron withdrawing group, so this can stabilize this negative charge. So this is a pretty stable intermediate. And then next step, just the protonation. You need to protonate this uh, negative charge to form the neutral product. So this is ammonia from the first step, so it can provide proton. So the um, carbonion can take the proton and push the electron back to nitrogen. So after this protonation step, you can form this neutral product with this new carbon-carbon bond formed. Okay, this is another example of a micro reaction. Uh, okay, let's talk about the Robinson annulation. The Robinson annulation is the reaction between a uh, cyclic ketone and a uh, alpha beta unsaturated ketone here. This is the example shows as a methyl vinyl ketone. And the uh, base is a catalyst, hydroxide. And you need to heat up and you will form a fused bicyclic product. It's a uh, alkenone. The reaction is actually a combination of a micro reaction and uh, auto condensation. And uh, let's look at the arrow pushing mechanism. First step is the uh, alpha proton of this ketone be depronated by the base, the hydroxide. Hydroxide take the proton, form water, and then push the sigma electron back to form a pi bond here. And then break this pi bond between carbon and oxygen the electron will stay with oxygen to form the enolate. Enolate is the nucleophile. And this alpha beta unsaturated ketone is the electrophile. The nucleophile reacts with electrophile. This re uh, reaction is called a nucleophilic addition. And in this case, actually, it's also called a 1 4 addition or conjugate addition. So, electron from oxygen push back push the pi electron to attack this beta carbon, push the pi electron here to form a pi bond here, new for pi bond, and break this pi bond and push the electron to oxygen. And then this reaction give you the enolate as intermediate. This enolate will get protonated by the water. So the electron pushed from the oxygen and push the pi electron here to take the proton and push the sigma electron back to oxygen. So this regenerate the catalyst, the hydroxide, because the first step we use the hydroxide to make water. So this step, the water will be converted back to hydroxide, the base. And then after this step, this is the product of a micro reaction. Next is the aldo reaction and then uh, aldo condensation. Alpha proton be depronated by hydroxide again, regenerate this step, take the proton and push the sigma electron back to form the pi bond, and then break that pi bond, push the electron to the oxygen. And that deprotonation gives you enolate like this. This is a nucleophile and this is the electrophile, so it will undergo a uh, intramolecular auto addition. Electron push back push the pi electron to attack this carbon, which is an electrophilic, and push the pi electron to the oxygen. Now, that nucleophilic addition give you this intermediate with this oxide here. This need to be protonated by water. This water is generated from this step. The hydroxide take the proton becomes water. Now this water will provide proton for this oxide. So that take the proton 
and then regenerate this hydroxide again as a catalyst. Now this is the neutral intermediate and this is the aldo uh, reactions product. Next it will undergo um, E1CB mechanism to lose the water, that's dehydration. So first step, alpha proton will be depronated by the base again, regenerate this step, the hydroxide will go to here to retake this proton, depronation, push the sigma electron back to form the pi bond, and push the pi electron to oxygen. Depronation form the another enolate, and this enolate will actually kick off the hydroxide. The electron from oxygen push back and push the pi electron here to here to here and then kick off the hydroxide. So in this step again the hydroxide is the regenerated catalyst here. Okay so after this step elimination so this will form the final neutral product the fused bicyclic alkenone. Okay if you go back to this whole mechanism from here to here is the micro reaction and then from here to here is the micro uh, I'm sorry from here to here is the aldo condensation okay so uh, if you have any questions so please uh, let me know and good luck